This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two week trial for free. Did you grow up in Arkansas or you grew up everywhere? I spent my summers in Arkansas living on my grandparents. Like they had a little lake house and they kind of lived off the land because my grandfather wasn't that smart with his money when he was younger. So, What does it mean lived off the land? Did I they mean like, they... Did they go to the grocery store? Mm, like maybe once a month for Crisco or something. I mean, they grew all their own food and fished shoot, out of the lake. To shoot and, stuff and stuff? Yeah, shoot and catch stuff and really? grow stuff. Really? Yeah. Do you, have you, so do you hunt still? Um, I've gone, I've gone deer hunting. I've gone turkey hunting. I haven't gone in years though. But you, would you? Like if somebody said, hey, we're going to shoot some deer, would you go? Well, not now, because where I live now, I, just, I don't have a big enough freezer that I could yeah, save all the meat. That's why. Okay. But yeah. I mean, would you go with people who had the freezer? Like if they... Yeah. If people were going to eat the meat, sure. Why not? Birds? Did you hunt birds too? I did. I hunted quail, which were pretty good. But the wild turkey, oh man, that was good. Yeah. So like you'd go yeah, out. You drink that had. though, don't you? No. Dude, would, no. Would you? you cook it up. You eat it. Would you hunt an animal that you didn't eat? Um... Probably not, unless it was like a dangerous animal. It's funny, I won't eat an animal that I didn't hunt. That's the <laughs> really? difference between us, yeah. I mean, I'm perfectly happy going to the store and buying stuff that grew on the chicken tree. Right. You know, yeah. or the beef tree. Right. So. Uh, but you'd go out, you'd hunt a deer? Yeah, of course, why not? Would you, would you do you have venison? any rules? Would you use an automatic weapon or would you? Use... No, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually have hunted with like a two fifty seven. I don't know what that means. No. It's just a Is gun. that some sort of gun? Yeah, it's just a rifle. Do you have a scope on it? Do you cheat with a scope? That seems like dishonest. Yeah, dude, I use a scope. Really? But then why? how could you miss with a scope? <laughs> Pretty Cause easily. Because you, like you didn't zero the scope rights. One way you could miss. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's what you were saying. Exactly. Yeah. I, was, I was this so, morning. But like you're a, you were in the Army and you got a scope. I mean, what? it seems unfair. Yeah, just because you're in the Army doesn't mean you can zero. Yeah, I know plenty of people that couldn't zero their rifles in the Army. Yeah. Lee Harvey Oswald. That's why he didn't kill Kennedy. That's why he was set up by the Mafia and LBJ and the Cubans. What, because he didn't know how to zero a rifle? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> just means... You've got sights, okay, a front sight and a back sight, and you zero them out, and then you calibrate based off where you're putting your, you know. And what does the deer have? <laughs> the deer's got nothing. <laughs> but what I found the first time out hunting, which was kind of surprising, is the deer doesn't instantly die when you shoot it. This is a, it's so wrong, don't you? You got to run up on that deer, and you got to finish it. Get him in the heart with a really? knife. Really? Oh. Really? Yeah, dude. And what if you want the poor and, animal and, to suffer? But like what, what is it? What if you shoot That's it? It's horrible. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hunt? Yeah. Because I ate it, man. Because so it buy was it in the store. Why I, do I have to fucking buy it in the store? It's because it's sold. Because it's an animal that's like lived in a fucking cave and been tortured that's for right. years? Yeah, do that. Oh, that's d delicious meat. Yeah, it is. It's delicious. You don't have to kill it twice. I just had a burger today for lunch. It was fantastic. No, they hit, they hit, you know what? That, that burger had a much worse life yeah, than I know, that deer I Yeah, I know, but I didn't. And it probably had a much harder death than that deer Yeah, but I didn't stalk it and kill it. So? No, not so. What, I didn't stalk wrong? it. I mean, that's, it's natural, dude. To shoot a, to scope your gun and shoot a deer and then stab yeah, it in the heart? Would to you hunt an animal and then eat it? Yeah. I've, with a, with I've a gun? I've killed an animal. I shot a pheasant when I was about nine or ten. I really? went hunting with my dad. First shot, killed the pheasant, cried, and that was the end of my, uh, of that, was, that was my, it? Yeah. That was the end of my hunting career. I don't know. We Look, ate the pheasant. It I know, sucked. I know hunting is not awful. that fucking popular in the liberal world, and I don't live to hunt. I wasn't a liberal. I shot know. a bird. There's nothing to do with a liberal. liberal. I mean, I mean, well, I eat the shit. I eat what I shoot. Um, that's just a thing people say, doesn't it? I just no, mean on it's a not personal a thing that level. People say. Some you, people just fucking shoot it. There's and they no cut way I could load up that gun and shoot that deer. I couldn't do it. It's nothing to do with being a liberal. I mean, I know it's a, it's hypocritical. I ate the meat, but I couldn't. There's no way I could do it. By the way, I've killed an animal too. I but I was with a Ford, and it was a cat. <laughs> hey, hey, Wes. Um, so I mean, we covered Obama. Would you call these two pussies? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hey, by the way. <laughs> by the way. Wait a second. Totally. Yeah. 100%. Totally. Total when, pussy. When, when, JR, make, when do we no... say once that we were in pussies? Yeah. Not once did we ever say. It. <laughs> by the way, I shot a bird. Uh. That's not, no pussy in that. <laughs> I cried, <laughs> but. <laughs> People all the time. No, there's no, totally. there, when, when I got when I got honestly, in the army, everybody's like, dude, I, I couldn't have been in the army. 
But you got to be fucking hardcore to be in the army. You don't really have to be hardcore. It's the fucking army, dude. Anybody can do it. And, and, and like, truthfully, it's built so anybody can do it. And truthfully, there is nothing wrong with hunting for people who do it as a sport and eat the meat and and whatever. It is totally hypocritical to for me to have a hamburger and to then criticize someone for hunting. It's when the hunters make the issue of gun ownership bigger than it needs to be. Now that's when well, I, I that's look. Why I, I agree. There's there's too many guns in the country. Yeah. Do you ever own a gun? I've never owned a gun. No. Did you ever own a gun? No, but my whole mother's family owned guns Dude, when she was. I don't care about your no, hold on, mother's hold on, family. Hold on. Did you ever own a gun? Of course not. I'm a Jew. <laughs> so we don't own guns. We well, just do shoot ourselves in the head with guns. Right. Well, what? How do we? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how you can have a Jew with a gun, doesn't know what the hell to do with it, terrified of it. Right. But you put them in an army, and somehow they can right, just, just obliterate the world. Badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the toughest. I don't badass. understand that. No, but, I just mean, but my, I got a whole half of the family. They got guns now. They're pictures of me holding their guns, and it, you know, it's like it's like a it's like a seventeen year old father holding a baby. You know, you're like, like I, I didn't I didn't grow up around guns, man. Yeah. So, no, I mean, no, way, I mean, I the 17 year old father like is that, gone before like he has a chance house. to hold the baby. Totally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. No 17 year old father has ever held a baby. I think people buy guns because they're scared. Well, people might buy. I mean, I yeah. bought a gun when I was scared. After I got jumped, I nearly got killed when I was like 26. I went out and bought a gun like a week later. And what did you do with the gun? Fucking had that thing loaded and ready to go, man. I know, but like, where'd you put it? Did you put it next to your bed? Or yes. You, yeah? Right next to my bed, all the time. That thing and, was ready. Then what made you decide, I don't, when you had kids, or was it the... No, I, I moved to New York in, like, uh, 99, and, and I had to, you know, you can't have a handgun in New York, so yeah. I got rid of it. And ever since then, I've kind of been okay I love that you okay can't have a handgun it. in New York. Rule. I know. It's a, great, <laughs> no, well, it's a good rule. <laughs> you know, look, if the thing is, if you, if you look at it rationally, like, after you've just been attacked, or you've been a victim of some violent crime, you think, I need this gun, you know, to yeah. defend what's mine. Um, Where but, were you jump, by the way? You never gonna fucking believe it. Outside Monterey, California. Really? Yeah. Mm. I was a white guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Monterey? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. Really? Outside Monterey, yeah. Outside Monterey, not like, you know, next yeah. to the golf course or something. Yeah, yeah. But you know, but once you have a gun, you're opening up all these fucking unintended possibilities just by having it. Because if people then know you have a gun, you get the phone call from someone who needs a friend with a gun to show up. Jesus, who ha what kind of friends do you have? I, I can't, if I had a gun, there's nobody who would call me and be like, I need, I need you because you have a gun. It Dude, I got a call. No, it would be like, do you know anybody who has a gun? Man, Ben, but we don't want to <laughs> right. yeah, I got a call from a guy at like 5.30 in the morning when I was, I don't know, I think I was 29 years old. He's like, Wes, I need your help. I need your help right now. I need you over here. And he didn't say bring the gun. Yeah. But I was like, Dude, if someone calls you at 5.30 in the morning, they're that alarmed and they can't talk about it. Wow, yeah. Might want to have it just in case. Did you bring the gun over? Fuck yes, I did. All right, did you kill anybody? No. Damn it. No. And luckily, the situation resolved itself before I got there because if you have a gun, you're going to be stupid and fucking use it. And then what did you do, like, when you moved to New York, what did you do with your gun? I sold it. Oh, Where? my God. To, what, to, to a fucking gun shop. Oh, okay. To a right. gun shop. Yeah. All right. All right. Next to a preschool. No, it was, <laughs> it was, uh... If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? You go to squarespace.com. With Squarespace, you don't need any coding experience, and the best part is, you can even edit your website on your iPhone. They give you 24-7 support. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.